an expression marked by a deliberate contrast between apparent and intended meaning. Teaching Mrs. Tingle, originally titled Killing Mrs. Tingle, is a lesson in irony. The only film Kevin Williamson ever directed tells the comic story of three high schoolers who assault their history teacher and are ultimately vindicated for it on account of their teacher's cruelty and renown unlikability. For Williamson, Teaching Mrs. Tingle addresses teenagers' insecurities, ambitions, and fears about the future. Most adults forget about the crushing anxiety the weight of the future holds, but Mrs. Tingle has never forgot that fear. It's her savage, manipulative force that exacerbates the alienation and mania of her students. Teaching Mrs. Tingle is a continuation of Williamson's postmodern exploration of deconstructed stock characters and cynical, meta-savvy, media-obsessed teenagers. It's about the postmodern dilemma. It's about examining the worst, most impulsive instincts of teens and giving them a cinematic space to explode. Teaching Mrs. Tingle was released on August 20th, 1999, exactly four months after the Columbine killings shocked the nation and suddenly Williamson's postmodern archetypes became exceptionally conceptually revealing and eerily accurate. Projects like Scream and The Faculty, released before the tragic events of Columbine, now appeared in a new and twisted light, and Killing Mrs. Tingle, as it was still being called then, was primed to play directly into that gorgeous but now problematic web of gory, violent teen angst. Williamson had always been able to tap into teen culture in a way few others in history could. In his 90s work, he expressed and exposed a disturbing cynicism that had gone untreated, a morbid irony long ignored. Williamson's most unapologetically deranged characters seem to shout over each other from different films. Don't blame the movies. Movies don't make psychos. Movies make psychos more creative. And it's life imitating art imitating life. I'm gonna blame the movies. To be clear, Teaching Mrs. Tingle is not a scream or I Know What You Did Last Summer. It's not a Dawson's Creek or Vampire Diaries either. It's a romantic comedy with black edges, and its humor often falls short of entirely hitting its mark. While the humor is hit or miss frustratingly 50-50, the film can be occasionally utterly compelling. Part examination of the newly performative truths pop culture is modified in girlhood, and largely a provocative postmodern war between bitter teacher and promising pupil, Tingle and Watson. Helen Mirren is remarkable in the film, no doubt the most memorable aspect of the film are the layers of its villain. Katie Holmes is a blessing. She's sexy, she's exciting, she's mostly inaccessible too. The Virgin rebukes the audience until Tingle has taught her irony. Holmes was Williamson's most loved muse, and the Dawson's Creek star comes poetically undone in teaching Mrs. Tingle. Postmodern lessons in dramatic irony, situational irony, and verbal irony, culminating in a post-ironic climax, a return from irony to earnestness, a lesson learned and deconstructed in mere moments. Williamson is a postmodern sentimentalist, and even his horror films aren't about failure, they're uniquely about triumph. He is Frank Capra of Cape Side, a lovesick artist in an unforgivably postmodern world of meta-irony and hyper-satire. Sentimentality on film can be truly sincere if it's earned in a post-postmodern context. Williamson can deconstruct like nobody's business, but he's far more inspired when he's building his broken pieces into something sincere. That's what the faculty has. It's what Scream 2 and Dawson's Creek have. It's what teaching Mrs. Tingle bases its existence on. A new sincerity from irony. Teaching Mrs. Tingle is a delightful exploration of concepts Williamson spent years refining. It is a good film with more than a few inspired bits. 
Williamson is a capable director, but his visual language lags behind his script. It's composed perfectly fine, if not without a technical character, or at least enough technical character to complement its complex situations. While Williamson's direction isn't exactly memorable, it's not altogether forgettable. He consistently frames Katie Holmes in ways that amplify not only her beauty, but pathos. Her pathos. Williamson films Holmes unforgettably, and Holmes filmed right, filmed correctly, is extraordinary to take in. He captured Leanne Watson very well. Teaching Mrs. Tingle is a good film. It's a nearly unknown gem today. I'm sure Columbine deafened the release of the film and it's yet to be reclaimed by Cinephilia proper. I think it's a fitting conclusion to Williamson's early career. Teaching Mrs. Tingle works as a sincere signature from an author at the end of a decade he helped compose, forge, define, document, and justify. It was intended to introduce sincerity to the dominant cynicism of 90s youth culture and was swept under the rug by a post-Columbine America coming to terms with its dangerous lack of imagined, projected sincerity. Ironic isn't it? 